here in my new kitchen. Um, but yesterday, my mom and I took off the doors and the hinges and all that jazz, and we are, we're like kind of cleaning them, like I was trying to, but now that they're all off, I can like legit clean them, and we got like the handles and everything off the doors, so I can like legit clean those now. And I bought all the stuff to fill what we need to fill and um, to like get painting. So that's exciting. So here it is without the doors. My sister's stuff is still in the cabinets. Those two handles we cannot get off. So hopefully we can figure that out. And hopefully I'm realizing these holes aren't actually that big. But they don't sell um, drawer pulls that are three and, a, three and a quarter apart, really. Besides this style, like literally that's all I can find is this style and I hate them. So these are small that I think I'm able to like wood fill them and stuff. And then we can pick like, they make like three and a half or something. I think, I think going a little bigger would be better um, than going like smaller because... Who knows if you'll be able to see those so then we can just like on the other side and the handle might sort of like cover it up that's what i'm thinking good it didn't I, th I thought they went all the way through they don't so then that won't be too hard to fill so that's awesome and then um on the doors is this worth is the same style but we're gonna fill and hopefully get this design to go away and we bought knobs just to go right there for the doors and the drawers will still have like pulls that we haven't decided on what we're using. So I'm really cheap and yesterday when we started this, I didn't feel like running to Menards in the morning before I came over. So I just made water, vinegar, and a little dish soap, a little concoction. Um, and actually, I mean, some people are really anal about this stuff and I'm almost freaking out that I need to do use some like intense cleaner and stuff and I'm like, but like you're cleaning it and you see that your rag gets dirty and then you get to a new rag once that one's dirty and then when you clean and you see that your rag isn't coming back brown anymore then it's clean like that's my that's how i think about it all right next day this is some of the taping i've done i'm being anal and taping up there even though i'm painting the wall but i taped that taped like where the shelves are so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start where the stove goes right here just to kind of see how it goes on and like if I'm doing a terrible job and I'm gonna like do the bottom first just because I feel like it's like lower to the floor if people don't see this much or something. and really fun I'm so excited all right here's one coat on the bottom I despise the lighting in this kitchen um so I was putting some wood filler in the top holes a little bit and kind of seeing how that's gonna work out for us looks good compared to what it was but doesn't it look pretty good I think I did a good job for my first coat. And uh, with the roller, like nothing even got on these edges and I was like not wanting it to be on like the shelf edges. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm not gonna take the whole thing. That was too much. And it turned out, okay. loving it. This is where I started. So this is the first coat. So I'm kind of like, I don't know what this is. But, um, and like, this to me is amazing coverage. And it doesn't feel like chalky, like the way they talk about chalk paint feeling. And I wanna put under cabinet lighting because I love under cabinet lighting. I need it bright. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
minute since I did an update. The top and bottom of my cabinets have two coats right now. I went around and just did little touch-ups because I don't want to do a third. I think it looks fully covered. Um, I did experiment with using a 320 sanding little thingy and sanding a piece of it because it feels bumpy and not like super smooth but it doesn't look bumpy. But I sanded it and when I sanded it you'd have to definitely do another coat of paint with this color at least because there as it, I was standing off some of the bumps there was like just like there was like white dots across it and like the paint was slightly discolored and you have to like wipe off the dust but it still is discolored so I'd have to do a whole nother coat on the whole kitchen and I just like the coverage that it is so I did two coats and then I touched up little areas that needed a touch up and that's it. With I would filled in the handle parts and then used the 120 over it to get all the bumps away and then went over it with the 320 to just kind of smooth it out. Apparently this is like a thing, a tack cloth. It's like uber sticky and really weird. Um, this is this giant thing that you just keep in a ball and just rub it everywhere and it will like stick and take all of your dust off of stuff. Just don't let it glob up now. So I bought the chalk spray paint to do the hinges so that they blend in because I hate the style, but you can't buy any to replace them. How breezy. All right, first coat on the drawers. It's so like spotty, it's so weird. <laughs> Gotta do those couple. process. I was scared to paint and I painted it and I was like it's fine. So now I have to seal everything like I'm pretty much at that point. I have a couple touch-ups to do um, but otherwise I gotta do this and I'm paranoid because I don't want streak marks and people talk about bubbles and blah 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 and all this scary stuff and I really wish I could just roll it real quick just like I rolled all of this. It went amazingly fast. I barely had to use a brush for anything but I picked up a little foam brush thing and I'm hoping to just go like this and hopefully that will not make streak marks. <laughs> I'm so scared. Wish me luck. This is my tester zone. This is where I try everything and I'm going to decide if I like how this goes on. People kind of say don't use a foam roller but I'm willing to try that. Let's see. Test it, see what it looks like. Cause that tester piece really looks so matte and no streaks or anything. All right, let's talk about this project. I feel like it's been two weeks. I come here for maybe an hour or two every couple days before work. Um, I am having to re do the clear protective coat on the top and I might end up doing it on the bottom. I used, this is what I used. This is what practically everyone used. Practically everyone though using it is doing white and I don't know how they don't get streaked marks and how it doesn't look shiny. This is satin and it still just was not great. I love the look of the, my matte paint painted up there. And then, and then I did that poly thing. I did the whole thing and I'm like, this is horrible, I don't understand. So I went, paid full price for this when I got my paint for only $10, I had to pay 17 for this. 
and it's working wonders. It's amazing. It's actually matte. Nothing shiny. Cause this, I have this, this ceiling light is ridiculously bright. It shines right here and it was just so glossy and shiny and streaky. Sanded it down a little bit, painted this. The... <laughs> Nobody talked about, this is the brand I'm using, the chalk paint, whatever. This is the clear coat they say to use, but nobody else uses this, but apparently it's amazing. So I'm going back, redoing it all. And that's been my day. And I feel like I've accomplished nothing. It's been such a waste of a day off, I feel like. <sighs> so that stuff worked great for me. It goes on exactly like the min wax polycrylic stuff, but it looks actually matte and there's no streak marks and it's heaven. But I am brushing it on. I'm a roller, I like to roll, but you have to brush this. I didn't try rolling it cause I didn't have any foam rollers to roll it with, so. All right, here's an unpainted, or without the final coat, beautiful and matte. And then here are them drying with the matte clear top whatever and then here is the final product i wish we could watch my face and your face <laughs> you're concentrated i'm just like oh my god six forever only fought a little bit. Yeah, now we can do one more. Oh, it's... I love how you're like learning how the drawers work to put it. Oh, plenty of room. Ooh, those look good! We did it! Now we just get to screw in the handle things. Yeah. Oh, so they put in it. 